Hi, it's Sienna, and today I'm here with our friend Ryan, who is a licensed architect, and he has a lot of construction experience, and he knows a thing or two about a thing or two around the household. So we've asked him to come and help us with this little video about some common household issues and how to resolve them. This video will be about different plumbing issues around the house, and we will start with the garbage disposal. Well, tell us. What happens when you're doing the dishes and you're done and your sink drain won't drain and it's stuck with food and filling up? Well, you could call a plumber or you could buy a $5 tool and save yourself $80. What you can use is an Allen wrench. It's probably gonna be a quarter inch Allen wrench. This guy right okay. here. It's like the big one you get from Ikea. Sometimes when you are you turn on the garbage disposal and you hear the motor running but there's something spinning, right. that's the problem. That's the issue, but that's a solvable issue. That one's pretty easy. That's what you would use the Allen wrench for. Okay, I don't really know too much about under the sinks, so let's go ahead and take a look. What causes the jam? Like what would you put down there that would actually cause it to happen? Yeah, you're not supposed to put big chunks of food in there. Um, oh, okay. I mean, you're, you know, you can cut things down and put them in there, but don't put eggshells in there, don't put onions in there. Um, just throw that stuff away. Oh man! What happens is there's multiple teeth spinning in there, and when the jam happens, something usually gets stuck in between those teeth. So it just stops rotating. So this is where you take your quarter inch Allen wrench, and you find underneath the mechanism right in the center there's a spot for that and you just put it in there and then you can rotate it manually and what it does is it loosens up those teeth. So it, is, there's, a, there's a hole that is exactly the size? Right. Oh. So it loosens the teeth so do you have to spin it back to tighten it up again? You just kind of have to spin it. No, if you're not loosening anything you're just spinning the mechanism in there. Oh, you're manually It's almost on, it's like a wheel. The blades. Right. Oh, I see. What happens if you are twisting, you're trying to turn the Allen wrench and it's not budging? If you can't fix it in this method and you can't reach in and pull anything out, then that's probably the time to call someone with more expertise. Okay. Because what they're going to do is they're going to have to start taking it apart in order to get to wherever that food is. So what kind of things should we do to actually maintain and prolong the life of our garbage disposal? Because I can't imagine them to be very cheap. So to you know to not have to replace it as often would be great yeah you can put ice in there uh, ice will sharpen the blades and help break up some of those food particles uh, you can also put in slices of lemon or the peel from the lemon it's soft enough where it'll still break it up and it'll it'll also give a nice lemony and it'll scent. help keep it fresh right yeah. so if you throw the lemon in there it helps clean it but also uh, keeps it fresh smelling well, there you go. So next time you have a jammed garbage disposal, maybe you should try this out and you might save yourself a couple of bucks. Let me just set up the situation. So let's just say that someone, not me, someone's at their parents-in-law's house and they take a fairly big number two and they try to flush, it doesn't go down, and they flush again it's still not going down. Oh shit! Shit! Oh my god! And now the toilet bowl's like rising. Like, what do you do? Like, without r raising any red flags or like letting them know? Like, how can you fix it yourself? Well, you don't keep flushing. That's for sure. Oh. Okay. So you've already made two mistakes by flushing an additional few times. The way it works is when you flush, it's actually fresh water that leaves this tank and goes into the basin. So every time you flush, you're not actually sucking anything out, you're just filling this with more water. Oh. So that's why it starts to rise. So is that water in the tank clean water? This water is clean water. Okay, because I'm always grossed out and I don't even want to touch the water in there because it's connected to the toilet and I just think that all of that water is contaminated with like pee or something. When you flush this, gravity feeds down into the toilet. But if the water stops coming up, you will have to plunge it. And hopefully they'll have a plunger in the bathroom. If not, you're going to have to ask your hip boss. Just flush it once, you find out it's clogged. You find out it's clogged, and then you're going to want to plunger the toilet. Okay, and so is there a good technique to plunging a toilet? 
There's really only one technique to plunging a toilet. Everything else is wrong. I always feel like I can't get the right suction. That's like, the key to it, yeah. is to get the suction. Okay. So that's the problem that I had. Or if there's like a really bad plunger that doesn't really like... Yeah, some of the new plungers are better designed than the older plungers. This plunger that we have is one of the newer designs and it has the, the lip on there. Some of them. This is the lip? This lip thing here, yeah. Okay. And so some of the older designs don't have that. They just have this bell portion yeah, on it. Yeah. But the idea is to get that bell, this ring portion, into that hole to create the suction so that when you push it, it's actually pushing something instead of just pushing the water out from the sides of it. Okay. You want to try it? Sure. What do I do? Do I have to angle it a certain way? It depends on the toilet, yeah. So, what? so just try plunging it. You can tell if there's perhaps the, you can hear oh, that, that suction. That's a little bit of a good suction right yeah. there. Okay. <laughs> if you are doing this correctly and it works, like will it just suck out? Like it will just all? Yeah, it should evacuate. So the water will evacuate the bowl. Correct. And then the water from the tank portion will come in. Not necessarily. You may have to flush it for the water to come in. Ah, okay. And then you gotta make sure you wash the plunger. Yes. So what happens if that bathroom that you're having this really bad emergency in doesn't even have a plunger? If you let it sit, everything will soften up and it may work itself out. But if you've thrown something in there that's not supposed to be in there, then that will never soften up. Which you could try too, depending on how hot the water gets. If you haven't flushed it and it's at the top, you can try putting hot water in there to break down that material quicker. So thanks for that very helpful tip. You're welcome. Yeah, so if you guys ever have that problem and want to avoid an embarrassing situation, hopefully that won't happen now that we know what to do. So can you leave now because I have to use the bathroom? I have to take wee wee. Go <laughs> Go <laughs>